So you're thinking about moving to Maryland and looking for a great small town to call home? Well, I'm here today in Happy to Grace, Maryland, located about 30 miles northeast of Baltimore. And I'm gonna take you around, show you this amazing town. I've brought it up in a few of my other videos, but you know what? A lot of people love to call it home and I want you to see exactly why. Now that's the information that you're looking for. Stick around, we're getting started right now. What is up everybody, it's Adam Taylor again from the Relentless Home Group of EXP Realty right here in Baltimore, Maryland. Hey, if this is your first time to our channel, you're looking to learn everything about living in Maryland. Great news, you're in the right spot. We do videos just like this, talking about all the great spots to live, to work. We talk about things like commuting to work, going out to eat at some of the best restaurants, and so much more. So, if that is the info that you're looking for, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to give the notification bell a click. That way you're alerted every time we've had another video. Now, right now, I've gotta be honest with you, my team and I, we are receiving tons of phone calls, text messages, and emails from folks looking to make a move right here to Maryland, and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about making a move, whether, hey, it's seven days, 70 days, we wanna help you out in that transition, but we just need one thing from you, and that's for you to reach out to us. So please give us a call, shoot us a text message, send us an email, or fan us down with that smoke signal. However you need to get a hold of us, we've got your back when moving here to Maryland. Damn, why do people wanna move to Happy Grace? Here it is. They love the small town feel. They wanna be on the water. If you're a boater, this is a spot for you because the marina is right over this direction. There's one, and I don't know if the camera's good enough, but right over in that direction, there's another marina over there. One of the best things about Habity Grace in reality is the community events they put on. I'm telling you what, in Harford County, they're right up there with Bel Air as far as the best community events. And I'm actually probably going to give the nod to Habity Grace on community events because this town is smaller than Bel Air and everybody knows everyone and some of the community events that, that they have throughout the year that are really really fun they have let's start off in january they've got the duck drop so you know how new york city they have uh the ball that drops well they have a decoy duck that drops because right behind me we're on the back side of it though that's the decoy museum so that's a fun event that they do. They do the 4th of July celebration, which is a great time. They have something called First Fridays, where they shut down pretty much a good chunk of Revolution Street in Haverty Grace Down. And it's probably, I don't know, eight to 10 blocks long. I mean, it's massive. And you get to basically go patronize these vendors, the restaurants, um, small craft shops, bookstores, coffee shops, you name it, whatever's along Habit Grace. They're trying to highlight those small businesses here during this period of time. So this is the Concord Point Lighthouse. It's right over my shoulder right here. Tons of history. It's really neat. They've restored it beautifully. As a matter of fact, my friend Sean and his pressure washing company, they were in charge of actually cleaning this uh, lighthouse up and making it look fabulous. And um, let's say you want to live on the water, right on the water. What does it look like and what can you get? Well, here's the deal. Let me give you a little history beforehand. So over this shoulder here, this is the start of the Chesapeake Bay. It's the northern, most northern point of the Chesapeake Bay. And then over this shoulder, this is where the Susquehanna River ends and flows into the Chesapeake Bay. Now, if we continue to spin it around, right here, my friends, is where you're going to find the best water views, I would argue, in Maryland. These are condos located on Concord Street. Now, one of, of the condos just sold for 650,000. It's three bedrooms, two baths, but it is beautiful. It comes not only with an amazing view, great floor plan, under the building parking, and so much more. Unfortunately, hey, there's nothing for sale at the moment, but you never know, one of these great places could come up, and there's actually townhouses around the corner as well. So look, I'm gonna take you around Habit Grace, 
and to show you some more great stuff about this amazing town. So let's hop in the car and go for a spin. So I'm here in one of my favorite communities in uh, Haverty Grace. It's called Grace Harbor. Now, what I love about Haverty Grace, you all know from time to time, I like to have communities with different property styles. So this community has single family homes like you see behind me and also townhomes as well as condominiums at a good price point, all right? So the home over my shoulder here, right over here, is for sale for $400,000, four bedrooms, two and a half baths, a little over, let me check my notes here, 2,000 square feet, sits on a quarter acre lot in Havre de Grace. It's very convenient to Route 40 to Interstate 95. And like I said, you know, at a reasonable price, 400K, you're gonna get a four bedroom home, two car garage, finished basements, deck off the back, and if you can see back there, there's a wooded lot behind it. Well, let me take you around, check out the neighborhood, and show you a little bit more of Grace Harbor. Now you're probably asking, what are the must do things in Haverty Grace that you must do when you're here? Here it is. I'm gonna give you one and one A. It's to hit up Bomboy's ice cream. It is the best homemade ice cream you probably have ever had, okay? You go right in there, you can get a banana split, you can get Sunday, you can get so much. Enjoy the outdoor seating here, or if the weather's not the greatest, you can go on inside. Now, say, Ice cream's not your thing. Well, you're in luck because right across the street is the candy shop. They've been making candies for eons now and pretty much, I would think or suspect, they're probably one of the longest family-owned businesses in Havre Grace. A great family runs the entire company, the Bomboy family, and they just put out a product over and over that's just phenomenal. So you gotta stop here, I'm telling you. You'll thank me later. The next community I really want to show you is Bully Rock. Now, Bully Rock is famous because it has a world championship golf course attached to it. Uh, the community was essentially built adjacent to the, to the golf course, which has hosted LPGA events for many, many years. Now, just over this shoulder here, you're gonna see some of the houses, but more importantly, you're going to see the Bully Rock uh, activity center for the residents here and this place is state-of-the-art you've got multiple pools in there a world-class gym great place to dine and so much more so um, let me take your for a spin around bully rock and show you some of the places in here Jumped out of the car real quick because I wanted to show you some of the new construction going on here in Bully Rock. So Trademark Homes is building sort of these like ranch style villa homes that you've seen in here. Now this home, the model right behind me, is listed right now for 538,900. And uh, gives you 1,950 square feet, two bedrooms, two full baths, but beautifully appointed to coincide with the community. It's, th these homes look stunning, my friends. So uh, let's continue to take a look and check out some of the rest of the great homes here in the neighborhood. So 
I'm here on Washington Street in Haverty Grace. So I wanted to stop here because the Vineyard Wine Bar is right over my shoulder. It's a great spot to have a drink, uh, good glass of wine, some nice food. Then you also have the River City Public House right over this shoulder here. And uh, that's a fantastic spot. It's a lot of fun in the evenings. Uh, both of those are great places to check out. Some other spots in Haverty Grace that you definitely wanna check out as far as dining options go are Tidewater Grill and McGregor's. Both of those have been staples in Haverty Grace for quite some time. So let's go take a spin and uh, check out Washington Street, which is also sort of like the main street of Haver Haverty Grace. So we're walking down Washington Street here. We just went past uh, River City, but you've got uh, what's coming up next here that I'm gonna show you mm -hmm. is the Concord Point. But, uh, coffee house right here and you can see there's a line in there right now waiting for a great cup of coffee but what's neat is you sit sort of right here on the peninsula of st john and revolution so i mean this is awesome i just love coming out i mean we got whitney houston out here um blaring over the intercom system in the town so uh great day to be out and enjoying this amazing uh town in harford county all right now one thing you gotta look out for when you're in Haverty grace walking around here on uh, any of the parks by the water hate to say it is goose poop stuff is everywhere and the county and the in the town they do a great job of cleaning it up but uh just watch your step when you're out in uh one of the public places here so so i'm in another spot it's one of the parks it's frank j hutchins uh, memorial park and i brought you out here because i wanted to show you probably the most expensive waterfront listing in haverty grace right now now i'm going to be able to show it to you but it's going to be from afar and i'm not going to be able to get as close up as i've really wanted unfortunately but we'll do our best here all right so this home sits right on the water best water view is probably out there huge piece of land you've got four bedrooms two and a half baths it's elevated um 2639 square feet and it's sitting i'll step out of the photo here so i can try and zoom in but it's sitting right beyond that fence there so this fence unfortunately is for them but if you could see it up there in the distance in the windows um, on the porch is where this home is so uh the home listed for one million four hundred eighty five thousand right now i don't know if it's worth that it's been on the market a little bit but hey we're happy to put together an offer if that's something you would be interested in taking a peek at there you go there's a little bit of happy grace maryland now if you want to tour or check out any of these great homes look we just need one thing from you whether it's a tour here in happy grace or a tour somewhere else my team and i we've got you covered but this all starts with you reaching out to us so please give us a call shoot us a text message or send us an email however you need to get a hold of us look we've got your back we're moving right here to maryland from baltimore down this bay all the way to the beaches in ocean city maryland we've got you covered we'll talk to you soon on the next video